Welcome back. All right, it's Mardi Gras, Fat Tuesday, and it's called Fat Tuesday for obvious reasons, right? It's a day that's historically known for feasting, and who knows more about making a good feast than a chef, which is why we got Chef Jazz in the house with us today. I am so excited because it smells so good in here, like seriously. So what are we whipping up today? All right, so we have the Creole crab cakes going mm -hmm. with a citrus aioli, and then yeah. we're also doing a Cajun shrimp with smoked Gouda grits. <laughs> you are speaking all of my languages. <laughs> I love seafood. Okay, so this is what's on, this is what's cooking up right now, right? Yeah, this is the crab cakes. All we have is a little bit of a half a cup of red diced bell peppers. Okay. Half a cup of sliced green onions, and then also a half of cup of celery, diced celery. All right, so then, and then you kind of just you pat them together, create these little yep. crab cakes. Mold them. Um, you can do them whatever size you like. Uh, I think these will be a perfect size, so maybe two per person. Okay. Versus the ones that I made last night were just small bite size. You know. Oh, so you can size them to if you if you're having like a right. little Mardi Gras get together. Yeah. Bite size, or you can go big. Can you go? Can can you make them bigger than that? You can. I mean, you might have a little bit of a problem keeping them together whenever it comes <laughs> okay. time to flip them. But. All right. So got it. Don't go overboard on the size. Right. So about how long does it actually? take I mean between prep time and this to get these these bad boys uh, looking like those finished ones over there it takes about a minute and a half to sear on each side as far as here okay including prep time I would say no more than an hour no more than an hour that's yeah. not bad okay so it gives you a little bit of time to get that together right um, so I see that w these are still cooking and we'll flip those over in just a little bit mm -hmm. these are the ready ones what did you throw on top there because they look it's a very it's got a nice little presentation so the top what we have on the top is the citrus aioli which okay. is the mayonnaise garlic olive oil lemon juice and I actually have a orange zest seasoning oh so okay. I threw some of that in there um, it kind of brings down the spiciness yeah. of it so okay now, you put a whole Cajun twist on this other dish. It's the shrimp and grits. Right. OK, so tell us a little bit about that. All right, so the shrimp and grits, I pretty much just made a Cajun seasoning. Oh, so yeah. So we'll throw some more in the pan here. Very nice. Just tossed it in there. And so what are these seasons with right now? So in the Cajun seasoning, I have the paprika, I have garlic salt, garlic powder, onion powder, onion, onion uh, salt. Yeah. Uh, just a little bit of black pepper, and that's it. Oh, that looks great. Okay, so and then, so what? How did you put that that twist on it, on the the shrimp and grits? Like, what what took it from just being shrimp and grits to a Cajun style shrimp and grits? Well, it was the seasoning for the shrimp. Okay. So I just made my own Cajun seasoning. Gotcha. There's actually places that sell it. Okay. And I'm sorry, I forgot to mention the cayenne uh, season that I have in there. Ah. Oh, so. Okay. Okay. So then you. Saute this up. Yes, ma'am. Throw it, throw it together with the grits. Yes. Do, do you do anything specific with the grits? Well, I uh, cook the grits. I start in water at about eight ounces of half and half, which you can also use heavy cream. Okay. Let that. It is Fat Tuesday, so why not? <laughs> I let all the um, all the liquid dissolve into the, yep. the grits. At the end, I added the smoked gouda. Just shred it. Oh, you got some smoked gouda in there. So this is the finished product over here. Yes, y'all. And then of course <laughs> I topped so it with up. bacon. Bacon it makes everything taste better. So those are facts, <laughs> right there. Okay, so we got a little bit of bacon, some shrimp, and so I mean these two kind of pair nicely together, right? Right. All right, Chef Jazz, I appreciate you whipping all this stuff up in here for us. And where can people find more about you know your cooking? I would say check out my Instagram at Chef Jazz Twelve. Okay. You can also find me on Facebook, just Jazz Moore. And from there, you can send me a private message in case you wanted me to cater a special event that you have coming up. Yep. And then my website is also under construction right now. I give it about two more weeks and it'll All be right. up and running. Sounds good. Thanks so much. You guys, thanks so much for stopping by Chef Jazz. And you guys can get a second 